Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So we're going to talk a little bit about Giannis and Dame again, and we're going to check out some of their highlights from practice today. But first, I want to show you why Giannis trusts Dame more than Drew Holiday. One of the things and one of the complaints about Giannis, and you've heard Chuck and others talk about this, is Giannis always wants to have the ball in his hand, wants to bring it down the court. We feel like Giannis should be filling the lanes and, you know, if he can get it already in stride and transition, he's more of a nightmare rather than allowing the defense, you know, him walking it up and the defense is able to set and him trying to go downhill. But he revealed today that he's going to allow Dame to be Dame and there is no question who will have the ball the most. It'll be Dame. And Drew Holiday wasn't necessarily afforded that opportunity when he was with the Milwaukee Bucks. Let's check it out. But now when we talk about specifically this uh, duo, we we have to be on the same page. I want him to be the primary point guard. He's, he's the point guard of this team. I trust him, man. Like, uh, I've been playing with him for a few days. Like, I know he's going to find me. This is not no in no shape or form any competition with, between me and him who's going to have the ball more. He will have the ball more. I trust, I believe he's going to find me, and not just me, he's going to find our, you know, our teammates. We have to let Dame be Dame. Dame is here to be Dame, and we're going to let Dame be Dame. So for me hearing that, for Giannis to make that distinction, it shows that he really trusts Dame. And he feel like, you know, that two-man game that they'll be able to form and the way Middleton will be able to play off of them allows Dame to be the primary ball handler, to be the primary decision maker. And I'm thinking that's why Giannis also worked out with Akeem this summer. Maybe... It's just good timing because he know he needs to have the ball less as far as trying to make the decisions out top. For as many good games Giannis has, we see a lot of six, seven, eight turnovers because, you know, he'll Euro through, get a charge, throw a bad pass, uh, you know, come downhill too fast, lose the ball, different things. And those turnovers, you can cut that down to about two a night um, at the most, two or three. Um, really don't need three, two, if you're catching entry passes. And I think that's why he wanted to work with the dream. But also, if he can make his free throws, he can go even to another level. And it won't, the game won't be so hard. You have to think, you know, he may even finish some more. Because psychologically, when you're not a good free throw shooter, you think about getting fouled and you may miss some chippies. If he's embracing going to the line because he's confident in his stroke, it'll open up new dimensions to his game. Also allowing Dame a facil well, allowing Dame to be a facilitator and take what the defense gives him. Um, also while freeing you up with his long distance shooting, I think is a great recipe for success. Now it's yet to see how Drew Holiday's departure and the defense that he brought will be missed, but we'll see, man. They should Put it like this, I feel like they have enough talent to make it work where although they could miss some of the things Drew did, if they play to their potential, they should have a chance to be right there in the thick of things at the end of the year. So uh, that's my thought, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.